Okay, I'm going to attempt a black eye here. Um, I didn't practice off camera at all, so if I fuck it up, I won't send it to you. <laughs> but I have two eyes, so that's nice. I got one to fuck up. Um, so the first thing I would do, the one thing that I saw with yours that I would um, positively critique <laughs> is um, it seemed like you kind of just made it round instead of following the natural eye a little bit more. Now, um, as you can see, work has given me a lot of lines to work with. <laughs> so I'm going to follow what the lines I already had. I mean, you can see how much my baggy eyes are very helpful. I don't think you have quite the baggy eyes that I do, but um, I'm just going to follow some of these. And then in the quarter, it seems to be, oh, and see, that's a lot. But that's, that's how we learn to get good. I'll try both eyes, too, because it seems like the first one is rough. And then I don't know if you can see well enough, but basically I'm going to follow the contour that's there and up around but I'm also going to add in I'll take this little guy you're probably better at makeup than me that's not what you need it's like the makeup tips it's more making it look realistic so and see there I did exactly what I did want to do so you want red more on the outside right I mean you could put red wherever and you want purple so it like gradient wise is get a little purple. I wish the lighting was better in here, but and see right there how it's all white right there. I'm not going to let that happen. I'm probably telling you stuff you already know. Oh, God. I'm allergic to my child. <laughs> but. And then you can look. See, I'm looking in the bigger window because I want to see what it looks like far away. And see, I think even just that little bit of subtleness but as you can see how it, like, the darkness is already going to the shadows I already have. And really just following those, I'll take a little purple and try and... Eyeshadow might even be more better here. I'm not sure. I don't have traditional, like, beauty makeup, mostly. I have... This is the Ben Nye... See, that already looks great. Uh, the Ben Knife Zombie Wheel. I've had this. It was a little expensive, but well, honestly not any more expensive than what they charge for beauty makeup. And I've had that thing for fucking ever. Like literally, I think 15 years, maybe 20. And it's still, you know, I'm probably going to have it forever. But it's got all these dark colors. Um... But real, I mean, if you look at it right there, even in the dimmer light, it's still, it's still, because you got the, the dark going in here, and I want to put, I think especially with your contacts being red, that's really going to. Um, it's really going to look like ugh, a black eye. Okay, camera lenses are not the best. I want to try it blend without 
taken the black too much. Yeah, that's all I wanted to do is show you how kind of follow the more natural and see where that like looks a little bit dark, but let's see if, yeah, see, it's going to look a whole lot darker and darker stuff. So that already reads really well. Um, I just want to blend that out some more and maybe even put a little bit more red if you can stand stuff right there on your eyelid putting some red there <laughs> sorry i'm reading handy's message um but yeah right there where that that gives it away little stuff like that really gives away makeup as being makeup so if you can stand or have red that you can put right there um, or even just gray, darken it up a little bit. That'll look even better. That's just uh, purple. See, my problem is, is that I cannot stand um, anything that close to my eye. A few times I tried beauty makeup as a teenager... Um, that's what happened. But yeah, that's looking, uh, that's looking really good there. You can even add, for some, like, bruising, if you really want to show some, just follow natural lines. See? They're too much. Just following those natural lines. I know, like, beauty makeup, you're trying to hide those. Horror makeup. Yeah, see, it looks swollen. Right? All I did was add a little contour on that line, and it looks... I mean, I'm sleep-deprived, so it, that helps. And then if you were going to... Let me get a different... If you wanted to add some... And that's way too yellow to start with, but that's okay. I'm going to cover that up. I wanted to demonstrate, like, a little older. I just broke it. Hey, I don't have a delicate hand. With that yellow underlay, changes the, changes it all together. In fact, that yellow underlay, I actually like more. Because it yellows, I mean, fairly quick, but it really adds, I'm going to try adding just a little yellow in the corner. That yellow-purple combo, oh, just looks so great for bruising. And I can bring um, this stuff if you want. I can bring my makeup and you can use it that night. Yeah, I really like the way that yellow... It's hard to see because that's the one that's in the sunlight. But yeah, if that yellow really kind of sets off a good darker. It's going to be dark, like you said. But yeah, a little bit less and then the shadows in the room are really going to add to it. So those look like some good. And I got a line there that doesn't look natural. Yeah. Boy, the red. I used more red 
and yellow on the left side, and I really kind of like how that's turning out. I can darken that up a little bit. But that, that yellow underneath that is really pulling out that bruised look. And I'm digging it a lot. That seems a bit much. I got that back off. And that's what I love about gore makeup is that it's not as precise. Yeah, see, both of those look super, super good. I cannot keep a hold of this fucking thing. Anyway, I hope that... And then, and I don't have a reference picture right now because I'm doing stuff on my phone. But yeah, accentuate those bags. My my face is easier for this. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think those look pretty good. Looking in the far away sense to let me. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um. And then the other thing I was saying was, first I would blow your nose, especially if you like to react to a lot of makeup. You probably don't because you wear it on the daily. Now, I know that my body's like, what the fuck are you doing? So it can react. This Blood FX stuff, I'm going to highly recommend because it is made to both stay in place and look wet for hours. Oh. So a little blood there. Again. Just the teeniest bit. Kind of indicating that trauma. Yeah, and I think that I think that translates pretty well in the dark. Um, and I think it will on stage too, because well, you'll be in the brightness when, but walking around, it's going to look good because all those uh, shadows are going to be accentuated. And then in the bright, you can absolutely see because your mind's going to be like, "What am I computing?" Yeah, that's trauma. So there's some simple stuff. Um, I'm going to try this thick because I bought it. Oh God. And I have not used it. So that stuff looks even fresher and it stays thicker longer. So that might be, I can bring the, the, the bloods and my zombie wheel if you don't want to use it, absolutely no big deal, but I have it. Um, if nothing else, wow, this blood really, this FX blood is so good. And the thing about it, like it looks really good right now, right? The point of this FX blood is that it stays looking, It the thick stays where you put it, and it stays looking like you just started bleeding for hours. Um, it's made to not move, not dry up. So, um uh, hopefully that is helpful. I did like that yellow underlay that I did on the second one. Um, you might put a little yellow underneath before you... Yeah, it's up to you. But anyway, that's how I would do it. I just go off the natural lines that are there. 
Um, typically, if it's a bad black eye, it is real dark right in here. But try to just keep it to that area and see. Now I raised some of that. I'd want to put that back in or go like that. Yeah, I'll probably put it back in. But either way, you get the point, and I hope I'm helpful, and I'll bring stuff. Okay, bye.